Detective D and the Four Heavenly Fathers is the third part in this franchise and trust me, the other two parts are just as good but you don't have to have seen them to go in and see this part. Directed by the legendary Choi Hark, the man who's done a slew of Asian movies that you have definitely seen at one point in your life or another because the guys had so many classic movies and again he returns to this Asian Sherlock Holmes which is just a fantastic story. I love Detective D and the Phantom Flame, uh, Rise of the Sea Monster and now we move on to The Four Heavenly Fathers and it brings back Mark Choi as Detective D. He starred as young Detective D in the second uh, episode here of this series and he returns again uh, as the fully fledged character. There is lots of connections and lots of throwbacks to the other two movies but it's not important. The base plot here is all about the Emperor who has bestowed this mythical weapon into the charge of Detective D because he has proven himself to be a protector of the Empire and the Empress is not too happy about this. She doesn't like the fact that somebody else has the power because this is a very manipulative woman who is looking to us up the, the Emperor and take over this land at some point and having somebody with this powerful weapon just can't float right in her world so she decides to enlist the help of several other people including this group of outside assassins to come and stop D and retrieve the weapon and that's part of the plot there is lots of twists and turns along the way as well as some spectacularly short action and the action in this movie is absolutely tremendous. It looks amazing as well, it's very colourful, it's very vibrant, lots of greens and reds uh, and it just pops off the screen. The character of Detective D is fantastic and it is a shorthand for like Sherlock Holmes, a character we've seen before, how he walks into a room and spots the clues and pieces together everything that's happened and then the movie shows you that. But this is a bit different because it's all full of ninjas and crazy folk doing wire foo and jumping all over the place and that's just the beginning of the movie. The movie escalates as it moves on into the more mythical and mystical elements as monsters start to appear, as hallucinations start to take hold of certain townspeople, as a strange band of mercenary assassins start to overturn the city. It becomes a wild action adventure that is extremely thrilling and highly entertaining. I love this movie. It's so rare that you see a genuinely entertaining popcorn movie. This is what it's designed to do and it does it fantastically well. Unlike last year's The Great Wall where it just fell flat on almost every front, this succeeds everything it tries. It knows it's hokey. It knows it's kind of funny. It knows what it's good at and what it's not and it sticks to its strengths. You get a wealth of characters who all look fairly interesting and all have their own uh, ideas of those kind of personalities. We get Detective D and get to see a little bit more of his inner workings, a little bit more of his lifestyle, his friendships and how he goes about his business. You get lots of fun, well shot action set pieces and you get a lot of CGI. Some of it good, some of it not so good but it fits the aesthetic of this movie. Much like with uh, Brendan Fraser's The Mummy, the CGI in that isn't great, but it doesn't detract, it more helps the movie. It's the same here in this movie. Detective D and the Heavenly Fathers is in cinemas on the 27th of June and you have got to check it out. I'm hoping to get out and see it on a big screen myself because it looks tremendous. It'll be fantastic to see with all those colours and it's just one of those movies that entertains and zips by. I love it. Absolutely love it. I can rate this highly enough. I think it's a movie that you've got to check out. I hope you'll love it. If you've seen the Detective D movies, let me know in the comment box your thought on them. I'd love to uh, meet some other people who like this kind of stuff as much as I do. And then I'd love to know your thoughts as well. And I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.